Louisiana Beer Reviews, Brother Thelonious Strong Belgium Ale. <laughs> this Belgian style Abbey Ale from North Coast Brewing is made in honor of Thelonious Monk, a famous jazz icon who died in the 1980s. 9.3% alcohol, has a 32 IBU rating. It's a good rating on Beer Advocate, the bros only give it an average rating. On Rate Beer, it gets a 97 out of 100, however, and a 93 out of 100 for the style. So Beer Advocate saying it's tolerable, Rate Beer saying it's fabulous, and the Beer and Me is agreeing with Rate Beer because they give it, give it a most excellent score. I've never had it. I bought it at uh, Stein's Deli on Magazine Street in New Orleans. A little bit of this beer is given, a little bit of the profit from the beer is given to uh, Thelonious Monk Jazz Education Charity. It says on the bottle, Carp Diem Vita Brevis, which means, uh, something. All right. Um, I have some crawfish bisque. It's still hot off the stove. Naturally, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put some crystal hot sauce on it. And you know I'm gonna put some black pepper on it. And you know this, man. Alright, let's get on to this beer. Everything I've ever tried from North Coast Brewing has been tremendous so but I don't want to be prejudiced maybe this isn't that good gotta rate them as we try them not given to the hype okay I'm getting some smoke a little trail of smoke couldn't find out when this beer was introduced although a good way to figure that out is you get on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate and you go to their oldest review, the oldest written review, and that'll give you the year. And usually that's the year it came out because those websites have been around for so long. All right. So we put it in this chalice or this schooner and we can see that it has a very um, beige looking head creamy but not particularly thick a medium head and a very uh, dense uh, brown with the light shining through kind of a lighter brown uh, appearance much like your other Belgian beers <clears throat> let's check out the aroma the aroma <sighs> get that alcohol that barley wine, alcohol, brandy type aroma, dark, musty malts, barley malts. Let's go with the flavor. You know, I should have shook the bottom. I bet it's got some thick sediment. It does. Can see a little bit of it coating the bottom. Mm. I don't know what Beer Advocate is talking about. It's malty, it's caramelly, it's raisiny, it's figgy, it's fruity, it's tasty, it's sweet, it's sugary. There's a slight hot bitterness to it to balance all that sweetness out. It has a thick, syrupy, not overly heavy though, mouthfeel. The finish is sweet and, and wet and dense and heavy and somewhat even cloying. This is a bold, to an extent, Filling, brown bread tasting, delicious beer. I don't know why people would criticize it. I really don't. Let's see how it pairs with this crawfish bisque. Oh, 
that's an A plus. There was a news report that Louisiana crawfish, as we say, they say crayfish on the news, they said Louisiana crayfish had infiltrated the waterways in England and were killing all the fish, the native fish over there. A friend of mine had a little baby, baby crawfish he got out of the canal and he put it in the fish tank. That crawfish got about that big and it killed every every other fish in the tank, so they will do that. Oh, that, that, that sweet, um, it tastes like dates. That's, I, I was wondering, what is that flavor? Dates, it tastes like dates. If you like sweet, sugary, uh, fruity, and I'm telling you smooth, a little bit of alcohol, but not overly, uh, not overly alcoholic, Beers like this, you're gonna love this little number. So, I think it was a dollar ninety-nine for this bottle at Stein's. Yes, a dollar ninety-nine. And for the level of flavor you're getting, it's a winner. So, I'm gonna give it an A plus. I, don't, I, I have to give it an, an outstanding rating. An outstanding rating. This is a world-class beer. So, les les bon temps It's just an A plus. This is an A plus meal. And it's an A plus day with the weather. Oh, fabulous. About 60 degrees. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeast Louisiana and enjoy the weather.